Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com, and this is a video in response to uh, Steve's um, post about ES in the Facebook group. Uh, just wanted to go through my view on ES on intraday. Steve's put some longer term um, videos up there <coughs> and charts, which are really, really great. Uh, I just want to drill down a little bit intraday to see what we're doing right now. <coughs> okay, so this is my 60 minute chart. And what I've done is I've looked at this big support level, this triple bottom, if you like, down here on the left. So I've actually isolated the start of my wave count at the third point here where the cursor is. So now we can see we've had the move up. Now, this was originally a wave three. Then we pulled back on this wave four. And then this was a fifth wave move, but it went longer than the original third wave. So it's reprinted a third wave there. We pull back on the wave four and then recently, let's zoom in on this, this fifth wave zone, we hit the target level and then now this target level is really acting as support over the last couple of weeks. And as we can see again, last week we tipped it um, on, I think it was Wednesday by the looks of it here. And then Thursday, Friday, we started to move away. Uh, so basically now we are looking at potentially the, the start of a new bullish trend if we can get through this 2820, obviously if it doesn't. So this is where we are right now. Um, and this is done sort of during the European session, this video. So as we can see, we had the gap up overnight. We're starting to pull back a bit there, but I would expect this cloud, our EMA cloud to hold. The EMA cloud is part of our black box breakout indicator. And as we can see, on the multiple time frame dot cloud here uh, on the multiple time frame uh, indicator part of that black box we've gone all green again across multiple time frames including the daily so this is really really strong now uh, bullish trend and we would expect our not just our linear support resistance zones but also our EMA cloud to hold as support now unless we have a really bad news event it's still looking bullish going into this week um, we got to go then down to the five minute time frame, I think, to start to have a look uh, at, this, at the level. So let's just bring that over. OK, so this is the five minute chart. Now, I've zoomed out a little bit at the moment. I just wanted to show you I've put the levels on the volume profile levels and zones uh, from our daily US indices, a uh, weekly US uh, futures levels and zones that Jerry puts out and they are available in this Facebook group. I put it as a learning unit so you can click done when you've been on there, watch the video uh, and for Think or Swim members, you can actually uh, follow the instructional video and you can actually put these levels on your chart for the week. And these are these dotted lines. These are the important volume profile decision points that we're going to look at, um, you know, that will affect the movement of ES this week. So let's just zoom in a bit. This is one of my big uh, previous zones that you saw on that intraday time frame. This is a big support resistance zone for me. It's a linear one. Uh, so that's really price action, not volume profile. So I've got everything on there that will affect this price. Now, I just wanted to go uh, and talk about the uh, isolation more than anything. So <clears throat> at this moment in time, I've isolated the wave count down at these lows of Friday, which gives us the gap up today as the wave three. And now we're currently pulling back for the wave four. Depending on where this price action goes, going up to the start of the trading session today depends whether we actually then move to isolate the wave count up here. But at this moment in time, I'm looking for a measured move back from these lows here. So we're looking for this wave for pullback to find support. And we have got the high of Friday here, yesterday's high and uh, the close as a really good support level into our amber zone here. So, you know, as the day progresses towards the US uh, session, we could see some good support on a move higher. Let's just see how that uh, progresses. But this is what I do so far in the European session. I actually isolate at a previous day's high or low. So this will be Fridays. See where the wave count is right now. Let that uh, move through the, the, so the Asian and European session and then look to re-isolate at highs uh, during to the current day's 24 hour session. So <clears throat> at this moment in time, that's my wave count and that's what I'm looking at. <clears throat> we are obviously got yesterday's high and close. 
uh, for today. We've got 2,800 as a really strong uh, pivot point as well, just in case this is one of the levels that Jerry puts on uh, each week. Um, and then obviously we've got 2824 as another level up there, which is now our fifth wave target zone. So if we do find some good support going into the pre-market session here, if we're going to go long today, this is a sort of target zone. Our fifth wave target is very close to this volume profile zone. So and it's all in my big linear support zone. So this is potentially if we get that bullish momentum today. This is where we'd look for that to go. So if you were day trading that, that would be the sort of thing. Also, I wanted to show you now, uh, we haven't released it yet, but our the, the next version of the black box breakout indicator has a lot more filters on it. So we are looking now, this was a, a trade on Friday. Uh, well, two setups, if you like. Um, but it, it filters out a lot of the others. So. This was the black box breakout indication signal to go along here. As you see there, we go all green on multiple time frame dot cloud as we enter at 2798.75, for example, there. And then we had that big move up. So now we've got the dots and these. These are our target zones. The top zone there is at 200% times risk. So the cyan dotted line from that second signal, you see the price target hit that to the dot and really took a great profit. We then pulled back to the cloud. We didn't get another signal to see see how the 2800, our volume profile did act as support. So we got that linear support level and our EMA cloud acting as support there. We just didn't get the signal going into the close, a little bit too late. But I just wanted to show you this new version of the black box breakout indicator. For all those who've got it already, this will be available because you've got a lifetime license once we launch it uh, probably next week or even this week if we can get going. So um, so just wanted to show you that. And so obviously with, with this in mind, we will be looking for those breakouts uh, to the downside that's, or to the upside most likely today. Um, but this is where we are with the wave count right now. So hopefully that helps. And Steve, great, um, great charts, great videos. And this is what we want to build this community on. We want people to ask questions, share their charts using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite or the Black Box Breakout Indicator or combining them both, not just on futures, but on stocks as well. And we want to be able to help each other. Uh, and obviously I will chip in as much as I can to help you guys. So have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all very soon.